Hello, my name is Mr Asprey and this is number 57 in my IGCSE exam question series. This is differentiation. It's a really tricky topic, but it's a really important one if you want to go and study A-level maths. So if you do like the video and you find it useful, please do put a like on it and let's get into the maths. Okay, I'm going to assume that you know how to differentiate functions. Um, if you don't, then check out my uh, my IGCSE video where I go through every topic and I will go through how to differentiate but you take the power and you times it by the coefficient so 3 times a third is 1 and then you drop the power down by 1 and here 1 and this is x to the 1 so you times it by minus 9 and then you drop the power down by 1 to x to the 0 which disappears and all constants differentiate to 0 so dy by dx is x squared minus 9 and then it says find the range of values for x for which the gradient is negative. Okay, so that's x squared minus 9 is less than 0 because the gradient is just dy by dx. Okay? And in order for me to solve this, this is a quadratic inequality. So I will factorize it by difference of two squares. This tells me that the critical points are minus 3 and plus 3. So if I were to draw the quadratic out itself, it would go through minus 3 and plus 3 on the x-axis. And I'm looking for where it's less than 0. So that's where the y values are less than 0. And those x values that give you that are between minus 3 and 3. So my answer will be the x is between minus 3 and 3. And of course, you can go to your um, calculator here and go down to inequality degree 2. Um, we want the one which is less than 0, which is case number 2. We've got 1x squared. We've got no x's. And we've got minus 9 as our constant. And there you go, that tells you what the answer is. Lovely. Okay, here's another very similar question, so give this one a try. Um, and here's the solution. We will differentiate, we'll get 3x squared minus 4x minus 15. Again, we need to ask, we need to find the range where it's uh, negative. So we need to solve this quadratic less than zero. Uh, the AC term is um, 3 times minus 15, which is minus 45, where this is the A, this is the C, and this is the B. And the B term is minus 4. So we need to find two numbers that times together to make minus 45 and add together to make minus 4. They are minus 9 and 5. Yes, that works. So we write 3x, 3x, all over 3. And that's all because the a term is free. We put those numbers in, minus 9 and plus 5. And we, how can we divide this by 3? Well, we can divide the first one by 3, so that will do the job. And this, we want to work out where it's equal to 0. So x equals 3, and 3x three equals minus 5. So x equals minus 5 over 3. We could draw a quick sketch of this quadratic, which will go through these points. We want it to be less than zero, so that's when it's below the axis. So the x values are in between minus 5 over 3 and 3. And then we can check this by going back to inequalities, polynomial 2. This is case 2 because it's less than zero. And we had a 3x, we had a minus 4, and we had a minus 15. And there is our answer. Perfect. Okay, another classic question here. Again, you get a function. You've got to differentiate it. This is going to give me 3x squared. The 2 comes down, so minus 2x. And then that gives differentiates to minus 8. And the constant 12 goes to 0. Turning points. Turning points are when dy by dx, the gradient, is equal to zero. 
So the gradient is also equal to 3x squared minus 2x minus 8. So where does that equal 0? Well, let's factorise that. Let's use the AC method again. So we have minus 24 and we have minus 2. So those two numbers are minus 6 and plus 4. We write 3x, 3x, all over 3 because the A term is 3. We put those numbers in, plus oh, minus 6 and plus 4. We can divide the first one by 3 to get x minus 2 and 3x plus 4. So we get x equals 2, and we get x equals minus 4 over 3. And those are, those, those are the x coordinates. So that's all we've been asked to do, so we're done. And it says show that the x-axis is a tangent to the curve. So that is quite tricky. Um, Essentially, what we have here is we have a cubic graph, which looks like this. Um, and it's saying that the uh, x-axis, which is this blue line, or the red line, which I'm drawing now, is tangent. And that means that at that particular point, the coordinate will be the x-coordinate of a turning point and the y-coordinate will be 0. So let's find the y-coordinates of these two points here. Well, the y-function is x cubed minus x squared. So, so x cubed minus x squared minus 8x plus 12. And let's say if I sub in x equals 2, what do I get? I get 2 cubed is 8, minus 2 squared is 4, minus 8 times 2 is minus 16, plus 12. Um, so that's good, that's 0. Okay, so this is enough to show that we have a tangent at this particular point. So this coordinate here is 2, 0. The gradient is 0, which means that the tangent will be horizontal, and it means it will be um, going along the x-axis. OK, next question. It says, show that the volume is equal to this. Well, the volume of a cuboid are, is all of its dimensions multiplied together. So I will just multiply these three together. I'll start by doing the um, uh, these ones here. And that will give me uh, 6x minus 2x squared plus 15 minus 5x. And that still needs to be times by x plus 1. I'll first simplify inside the bracket here, because I've got a 6x and a minus 5x, which is just a plus 1x. And then I will multiply this by x, and I will multiply by 1. So times by x first is going to give me... Um, minus 2x cubed plus x squared plus 15x and then times it by 1 it's going to give me minus 2x squared plus x plus 15. So simplifying I have um, and for some reason they're doing it uh, from constant and then increasing in powers so I'll do the same so I've got 15 x's, I've got 15 plus 1, that's 16x. 
x squared, I've got 1 minus 2, which is just minus 1. And x cubed, I've got minus 2 x cubed. That's great. And then the next part of the question says there is a value of x for which the volume of the cuboid is a maximum. Find this value for x. Well, let's just remind ourselves that the volume was equal to 15 plus 16x minus x squared minus 2x cubed. And whenever we see this word maximum or minimum, it means we need to differentiate and set equal to 0. So we write dv by dx is equal to 16x differentiates to 16 minus 2x and then minus 6x squared. That's equal to 0. And whenever I've got a quadratic um, which has factors, in this case 2, I'll take the opportunity to divide through by 2 because dividing by zero, dividing zero by two will just be zero. So I'm going to divide through by two, and I'm also going to divide through by negative to swap the signs over. So I'm going to divide through by minus two. Minus six x squared becomes plus three x squared. Minus two x becomes plus one x, and positive sixteen becomes negative eight. Now, ah, I can see here it says my answers to will be three significant figures, so I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula anyway. So in doing so, I have to show my working, and that will be minus b, and the b term here is 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 1 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is minus 8, all over... 2 times a, which is 3. OK. Uh, to ensure I get the method mark, I will need to um, simplify inside the square root sign. So that is 1 squared minus 4 times 3 times minus 8. So that's the square root of 97. So I will write this is 1 minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 97 over 6. And then I can work out what that actually is by doing minus 1 plus the square root of 97 equals divided by 6. And it's going to be 1.47. I know it's not going to be the negative one, because if it was a negative there, then the top line would definitely be negative, and x can't be negative because it represents a distance. And finally, I will double check my quadratic by going into menu, equation, polynomial, degree 2, and I'll do the first one, which was minus 6, minus 2, and 16 and great gives me the same answer happy with that okay final tricky question here it says a total surface area of a uh, of the cuboid is a find the maximum value of a so it's not even clear that you need to do differentiation here but this is the clue when you see the word maximum it means they want you to differentiate so the total surface area is a and that's also equal to um, the base, which is x squared, plus the lid, which is also x squared, um, plus each of these four faces, which are each the height multiplied by their widths, which are, are x for each of them. Right, so let's simplify. 2x squared plus... Uh, multiplying out this bracket, it's going to give me 4 times 12 times x, which is 48x. 
and 4 times minus 3x times x is minus 12x squared. So in total I have 48x and I've got a 2x squared minus a 12x squared, so that's minus 10x squared. And like I said, it's a differentiation question, so we're going to differentiate dA by dx is going to give me 48 minus 20x. And maximums and minimums occur when the gradient or the derivative is equal to 0. So 48 is equal to 20x. So x is equal to 48 over 20. Uh, 48. Uh, come on. 48 over 20, which is 2.4. Lots of people stop here. They think they've got the right answer, but it's actually asked you for the minimum value of A. So you need to sub back into the formula we created for A which is this. So we write 48 open brackets 2.4 minus 10 lots of 2.4 squared. So we do uh, 48 open brackets 2.4 minus 10 lots of 2.4 squared and we get an answer of 57.6 Bosch Okay, that's differentiation done. Please do like the video if you found that useful. It's a really important topic for A-level maths, so it's a good one to master at GCSE level. Okay, try the next topic and bye for now.